Hello, my name is Kirsten Ramsey and I'm a marine ecologist. I work in a group that collects the evidence that Natural Resources Wales needs to make decisions and to give advice. So examples might be advice on whether a new development might damage the marine environment or maybe how best to manage marine protected areas. So many people imagine that the seabed off Wales is some sort of featureless, flat, sandy desert. But actually, this couldn't be further from the truth. We have a huge variety of different habitats in Welsh waters. We have rocky reefs, kelp forests, seagrass beds, mussel beds. We have muddy and sandy and gravelly sediments. But to manage all these effectively, we really need to know which habitats are found where. So in relatively small areas, we can collect data by diving surveys or by towing videos across the seabed or by taking sediment grab samples. But the problem with this is that this surveys relatively small areas and the area of seabed off Wales is actually huge. It's actually bigger than the area of land. So one approach for surveying these larger areas is to use a technique called the multi-beam echo sounder. So this is a device, it attaches to the bottom of a ship and it bounces sound waves off onto the seabed. So by recording how long it takes for the sound wave to bounce off the seabed and return to the ship and also recording information about the strength of that return signal we can put together a picture of both the shape and the type of the seabed. So in NRW, we're using data collected by other organisations to create new seabed habitat maps. So, for example, here you can see a map of the topography of St Bride's Bay off Pembrokeshire. And from that, when you look in more detail, you can see areas of rocky reef and you can see areas of sand waves. And in some of the maps, you can also see other types of habitats as well. And we can also use existing survey data to cross check that we've made the right decisions as to which area is which type of habitat. So by using these techniques it is going to take us a long time, but eventually we hope that we'll build up a much more complete and accurate set of maps of all our amazing seabed habitats in Welsh waters.